Hey, what's up, guys? Hard Leg Joe here with a profile for my Dino Wrestler kind of control deck. For a monster lineup, we have two Black Luster Dino, Envoy of Extinction, one Brickosaurus, three of the only good Dino Wrestler, one Medium Rex, two copies of that guy who's kind of friends with Pankratop, so we let him hang out with us even though he's not really all that cool, three Miscellaneous Dinosaurs, three Soul Raptor, one Beat Raptor, one Dino Wrestler Kappa, two adorable little babies, one Egg on Head, and three copies of Tunersaurus. For spells, we have three Foolish Burial Decents, three Dino Rota, two Terraforming, three Olsen Twisters, three Goofy Sequels to Jurassic Park, and two Field Spells that are somehow bricks in hand. Our only trap is one copy of Survival's End. For Extra Deck Monsters, we're playing one Red Lizard Tank, one Coral Dragon, one of the only good Ice Barrier cards, the only good Ally of Justice card, one Solemn Judgment Dragon, one Solemn Strike Dragon, one Twin Twisters Dragon, Castell, Dweller, Borolode, the Token Dino Wrestler Link, that guy that makes Ultimate Conductor OTK, a Cerberus, a Cat, and two Dino Wrestlers in a trench coat. The side deck I'll go over in a little bit. So, playstyle-wise, this is pretty much just a standard dinosaur deck. I tried to put as many dino wrestlers as I could into here, but at the end of the day, nothing they did was better than Ultimate Conductor Tyranno. If you're somehow unfamiliar with this big old boss monster, it's a 3500 attack behemoth that can attack all monsters your opponent controls, send any defense position monsters it attacks to the graveyard without damage calculation, and flip all monsters your opponent controls face down during either player's turn. Best of all, you summon this guy Black Luster style by banishing two dinosaurs from the graveyard, which means you can do a bunch of combos with your little dinosaurs, make some links or synchros or whatever, and then end by plopping this big fucker down to seal the deal. As for those little dinosaurs, the most important one by far is Soul Eating Overraptor. When this thing is summoned, you take one dinosaur from your deck and either add it to your hand or send it to the graveyard. Not only that, but it has an additional effect that once per turn, you can target and destroy one other level 4 lower dinosaur on the field to special summon a dinosaur from the graveyard in defense position. So basically, this thing is Rhoda, Foolish Burial, and Monster Reborn for every damn monster in this deck which is why we play it at max copies, and why we play Fossil Dig to search it. Fossil Dig can also search Miscellaneosaurus. Uh, I mean, it can search just about all our dinosaurs, but Miscellanea Bob is one of the most important, so I'm talking about it first. This is a level 4 hand trap that you can discard during either player's main phase to make all dinosaur monsters you control unaffected by activated effects. So not only does this turn everything into towers, but it also has a graveyard effect, which says you can banish it along with any other number of dinosaurs from your graveyard to summon a dino from the deck whose level is equal to the number of monsters you banished. This effectively gives you a third way to search every monster in the deck, assuming you have enough graveyard set up. This, along with Overraptor and Fossil Dig, is why we play so many cards at 1 and 2, because between these three cards, you're almost always going to have access to a search, allowing you to toolbox dinosaurs out of the deck to suit whatever situation you're in. Pretty much all our remaining monsters are just part of that toolbox, so let's just go down the line and explain what each one can do. Dino Wrestler Cola Slant is a level 2 tuner that you can special summon if you control no monsters, allows you to make easy link or synchro plays. Baby Sarasaurus summons a level 4 dinosaur from the deck when it's destroyed by card effect. Petit Pterodon does the same thing, but for level 4 or higher dinosaurs, although they can't attack the same turn they're summoned. Dino Wrestler Capitara can send one of your opponent's monsters to the graveyard, assuming they control more monsters than you. Beat Saber just straight up negates all monsters in the extra monster zone. Dino Wrestler Stego Cyber searches a Dino Wrestler when it's special summoned. Giant Rex is a 2k beat stick that summons itself when it's banished. Pank and Spank can special summon itself if your opponent controls more monsters than you, and has some quick effect destruction. And Overtex Quatlis is a 2700 beater that can negate spell traps, but we mostly play it just because it summons itself via shuffling five banished dinosaurs back into the deck. 
effectively letting you recycle your one-ofs and use them again. Using all these in conjunction with the extra deck, you should be able to tear down pretty much any board your opponent builds, making this a prime go-second strategy. Uh, speaking of the extra deck, we have a wide range of tools there, most of which are just up to personal choice, so I won't go into them too in-depthly. Uh, you can make synchros, ixies, and links with ease, so feel free to conclude whatever you want. My only prime suggestions are Lagia and Dolka, who offer a bunch of negation and are dinosaur exclusive. Castell, since it's removal that detaches both of its material, allowing you to set up the graveyard for ultimate conductor Tyranno. And Pentastag says your linked monsters do piercing damage, which is an amazing effect when paired up with Ultimate Conductor, who again, can move all your opponent's monsters into defense position, and then attack them each for 3500. All that leaves is the rest of the spell traps, we're playing two field spells, one of which is really awesome, and the other of which is practically dead in hand. Uh, the latter is World's Dino Wrestling, a terrible field spell that does practically nothing to help dino wrestlers on the field. But if it's in the graveyard and your opponent has more monsters than you, you can banish it to summon any dino wrestler from the deck. This graveyard effect is so useful that we play Foolish Burial Goods just to send it to the graveyard. Not only can it summon Panky Boy straight out of the deck, but if your opponent has two monsters, you could summon Sistego, use its effect to search Pankratops, summon Pankratops from your hand, normal summon a level 4 or the tuner, and then you've got extra deck plays with these while having that on board. It's just a pretty sweet plus one, assuming you don't draw it. Uh, likewise, while we're talking about stuff in Grave, we've got this one trap as an alternate target for Foolish Burial Goods. Can be useful in a pinch. Its regular effect isn't entirely useless, it synergizes with the other field spell. But in the graveyard, you can banish it to target one dinosaur you control and one card your opponent controls, and destroy them, which is a nice bit of removal that can also trigger your baby dinosaurs. Uh, speaking of the other field spell though, Lost World, pretty much the whole reason we play Terraforming. This thing is super useful, but also has quite a lot of text, so I'm going to try to summarize it best I can. First off, all non-dinosaurs lose 500 attack and defense. Nice. Second, once per turn, if a dinosaur is summoned, your opponent gets a level 1 dinosaur token in defense position with zero attack and defense. Why give your opponent a token? Well, if they control a token, they can't target other monsters with card effects. So you give them a token, and suddenly all their fog blades and infinite impermanences are entirely useless. That's not all, though, because once per turn, if a normal monster, aka the token, would be destroyed, you can destroy a dinosaur in your hand or deck instead, which is where our cute baby dinosaurs really come into play. You normal summon pretty much anything, your opponent gets a token, you run over the token by battle, but instead of destroying it, you destroy one of your baby sauruses instead, letting you summon out pretty much anything from the deck. This combo also works really well with Overraptor's Monster Reborn effect, since it lets you destroy a dinosaur on either side of the field to summon something out of the graveyard, meaning you can get rid of the token to actually summon something from the grave, or prevent the token's destruction and get something from the deck instead. Overall, 10 out of 10 field spell opens up whole combo lines just by being in hand, would play again. All that leaves us with then is Twin Twisters, which is your main side deck card, along with any of your one-ofs, really. Uh, the more competitive version of this deck trades out most of the Dino Wrestler stuff for hand traps, so if you want this deck to be better, put these in. Not only will they stop your opponent from making big unstoppable boards, but they also open up plays with Double Evolution Pill, which will let you get Ultimate Conductor Tyranno or Coatlas straight out of the deck, but requires you to play non-dinosaur monsters. My main deck is all dinos all the time, but if you put in the hand traps, well, there you go. A Pot of Extravagance is also a great tech in this deck, since most of the time you barely use the extra deck at all. If you find that Ultimate Conductor Tyranno or Lost World is going to ruin your opponent's day, and you just want to turbo those out as fast as possible, side these in, along with some extra copies of, like, a Beat Raptor, since you won't be using the extra deck, and you're going to be able to do a whole bunch of shit. Other than that, we just got another copy of Coatlas against Banish decks or Spell Trap heavy decks. Nightmare Phoenix also helps out with decks that play a lot of Spell Traps. And another copy of Kappa Kappa to deal with Swarm. 
Anyway, there's the deck. I hope you enjoyed. If you'd like to see Dino Wrestler Control in action, check out the main video. There I'll be playing 10 duels against random opponents, showing off how this works. Or if you're short on time, just check out the replay video. Both should be on the end card and linked down in the description. Regardless of what you do, until next time, good luck and have fun.